Hey guys, I am so excited it's raining right now. You can probably hear it, but I'm so happy because here in Central Texas, man, we needed the rain so bad. Everything was dry. I mean, the lakes are down 20 feet low right now. So hopefully the lakes are getting this rain and I'm so happy it's raining. Anyways, why you guys clicked on the video is because of this bad boy right here. This is the Monster Bass takeover for this month. And we are about to get into this thing. I'm super excited because uh, I already know what's kind of in here, but it's not open yet. That's why I got this cutter in my hand. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's cut this bad boy open and uh, get into this box because I'm super excited to show you uh, something in the box. I don't know if I can. Man. I got a dull blade. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, first thing that is in the box right here, you can probably see it, is the Monster Bass pamphlet. This thing, if you watch my previous videos, man, this thing's full of information how to fish all the baits that come in each box every single month. And just like me and the other ambassadors, show you how to uh, tips tricks all that stuff but if you watch previous videos of the unboxing you will know that my favorite thing in this whole pamphlet is the lunar calendar this thing i study this thing because i actually go out on new moons as much as possible that I can to get off work or to fish it during a tournament, weekend, whatever. I try to do the new moons. I don't like fishing full moons because fish are more active at night during a full moon than the new moons. New moons is mostly more active during the actual day when I want to be fishing. So that's why I fish and concentrate on the new moon lunar calendar here. So. Take my advice and, and go fish on a new moon, right? <clears throat> but if you don't, if you don't get the, the monthly box, make sure you guys download a lunar calendar or something like that, so you guys can stay up to date on that. All right, enough about that. So the first bait in this box is going to be a lipless blue and a pink belly on that thing. So. I don't know if you guys can see that real well. Yeah, thunder. Man, I'm so happy. Anyways, uh, has a red hook, so the fish will uh, like keen on that red hook versus the back hook. So that's good that Monster Bass actually does this. It was one of my things that I did early on uh, to voice my opinion on this uh, when I first became one of the ambassadors for Monster Bass that I, I voiced my opinion of that red hook being up at the front and also feathers. Uh, they haven't switched the feathers up front yet, but when you do have one that has feathers that's in the back, take that feather one off the back and put it up towards the front. You get more hookups, I promise. All right, moving on with that, another red hook on this crankbait on the Seeker 6, man. I, I do like this color uh, a lot. If the thunder is bothering you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I do like this color a lot, especially in clear lakes. Especially, uh, you know, there's a lot of clear lakes like Belton, Stillhouse, all these grass uh, lakes that have the uh, zebra mussels too that, that make the water real clear in some of the lakes around Texas. But, that's a good color to throw in that clear lake. All right, uh, here is a jerk bait. This is one of my favorite. This is the Slick Stick uh, 99. Uh, this mimics a lot of shad. Uh, great jerk bait, man. I, I noticed that when I'm fishing with a lot of people, a lot of people don't use jerk baits for some reason. I don't know why. I grew up using a jerk bait a lot in Tennessee, but I'm, I'm telling you, jerk baits, it's like, 
It's like a hidden secret. I don't know what it is, but a lot of people don't throw this, so it doesn't get seen a lot by the fish here in Texas. So uh, if you guys are in the south, try throwing these things, man. I, I guarantee you the fish haven't seen these in a while. Um, here's another. Uh, here's a Seeker 8 uh, crankbait. This one is the Tiger Strike. I don't know if it fit focus very well on that, but yeah. The Tiger Strike is more of that, that muddy water um, transition for like crawdads and stuff like that. That's a good good color to go to when they're, when they're turning red or it's murky water. So keep that in mind when you, when you go a little bit deeper because it, it goes down to eight and this one was six. All right, so this, uh, when you go to the Monster Bass website, make sure you get the right ones that you need for the depth. All right, <laughs> this is this is what I wanted to show you because this is what I was really excited about for this month. Monster Bass has gotten to make these baits, okay? So all these baits from Monster Bass were made from Monster Bass, okay? All these baits were made from Monster Bass. They just recently got into soft plastics. These were tested by some of the professionals on the MLF tour, um, and they say they're great, okay? So some of these, I don't know if all of them, uh, as far as I know, are infused. Well, the prototypes were, I don't know if these are yet, or were, but they, the prototypes were infused with sugar. Um, I don't know if these are or not, uh, it doesn't say, but I will have to get back to you on that. Uh, they may have infused it with something else, but the prototypes were. Um, but look at these crawls. Okay, let me, let me take one out for you guys. Look, okay, this is, this is brand new, okay? The plastic is brand, brand new. Just hit the market, okay? Look at that color, man. Look how big those claws are absolutely beautiful love it love it love it okay so that will pair nicely with a jig a blue and black or a, actually i would say a blue blue and green yeah that would be perfect also so there's those crawls and here this one's really oily, so I don't think I'm gonna take this one out. <laughs> but uh, they're like wiggle balls, man. Look at that. That is like phenomenal. Use that for a, a drop shot or, yeah, that would be like, oh my goodness. Or a wacky rig, actually that'd be better. Wacky wig, wacky rig, tongue twister there. <laughs> but yeah. I'm telling you, if you guys want a set or a bundle of these things, go to the Monster Bass website because these just hit the market, man. You want something that the fish haven't seen before? Soft, soft plastic? Here you go, man. This is this is it. So go to the Monster Bass website. Also, my code, if you guys want to use my code to get 20% off of all that plastic, cotton20, okay? All capitalized, cotton, C-O-T-T-O-N, 20. All right, make sure you guys use that code because you'll get 20% off the plastic. Um, also, you got a, a rig in here. This is Carolina rig. So you can actually hook this up with these, with these right here for, for a Carolina rig. So all that stuff, all this rigging and stuff, it has a whole set. For the carolina rig so make sure you guys go to the website pick you up some carolina rigging and then get some soft plastic rig all that stuff up uh here's some other stuff here let me see <laughs> that's that's pretty funny here's a new sticker it's that one of those angler fish that's deep down in the ocean that's kind of cool i like that sticker um uh, tackle warehouse um uh, gives you codes when you get your box 
a 10% off if you guys want that. Uh, fish Angler app. This one is shows you a big community of where you know where you might want to fish, where a good place to start if you're just starting, you know. So good for that. I was wondering if they threw any hooks in because I, I got the Carolina rig set, but I was like, hmm, they don't have no hooks, but yeah, here's your hooks. So there you go. There's the hooks that get it rigged up for the soft plastic. Um, but yeah, that's uh, this is September's box. Uh, we're about to transition or transitioning now into the fall pattern. So make sure you guys get uh, get on that fall stuff. Get your get your rig set up on your poles and stuff like that for the uh, the fall transition. You want to you want to mainly uh, use a lot of shad type stuff if they're schooling a lot if there's a lot of bait fish in the water make sure you throw a lot of swim baits spoons uh, stuff like that man it's muggy out here uh, uh, and Carolina rigging down deep because some of them are still down deep from the summer pattern and also you want to throw that crankbait okay crankbait uh, I would say that Seeker 8 that would be a good one to throw um, along the rock ledges because they're still out on the main lake uh, during the during that transition period going into the secondary points so make sure you like I said swim baits spoons uh, crank baits even jerk baits out there on the ledges out on the main lake and then uh, Carolina rig if you see them way down deep so those are the baits that you need to be fishing for this transition period so appreciate you guys watching I really really do uh, I, I'm so happy that you know you guys are following me and, and subscribe so uh, more content to come so see you guys later